Well, I just ran through my first tank of gas in the 2015 boat without a lick of electrons in the battery. The battery never got plugged up for this entire tank of gas. And last time I got gas, it was 48 degrees, so I was freezing my tail off, and it was a driving cold rain. And it, the weatherman said it felt like 42 on that day. I say horse pucky. With that cold rain, it felt like 22. I was so cold last time I got gas, I wasn't paying attention and put regular unleaded in my first generation boat, which requires premium. But a lot of owners say it don't really require premium. Don't do it, it's just a waste of money. Then there's a lot of owners that say, do it. You need to do it because that's what the owner's manual says. I normally do, but last time I forgot. So I'm about to tell you my miles per gallon without using any electricity. But keep in mind, it was regular unleaded instead of premium. And they all say, all boat owners say, you will get better gas mileage with premium. You know, in this particular car. I don't know about other cars just the way this car is designed. And this car is supposed to get 35 to 40 miles to the gallon. I forget what the official rating is, but you ask boat owners, they'll all say 35 to 40, somewhere in there. So let's take a look and see what we got on this tank with no electricity, which sucks. But I had no way to plug it in. 277.2 miles, 34.6 miles to gallon, eight gallons of fuel burned. Since it's gotten its last full charge, 704 miles I've driven. 45 battery, 659. I am destroying the lifetime gas mileage. Oh my God, my lifetime gas mileage says 237. It's always said 250. Oh my God, I have destroyed the lifetime gas mileage. When I bought this used, it said 250. I'll never be able to get back to 250 again because the generation one vote right here, as high as the computer will let it go is 250. After that, it says 250 plus. Oh my word. That's what happens when you go five or six weeks without turning it, without charging the goofy thing. You ruin your lifetime gas mileage. Oh well, what can be done now? <sighs> kind of sad though. Okay, I just fast forwarded it. Did, I just fast forwarded. I just fast forwarded did, uh, 12. I just went forward in time about 12 hours and realized that. 725 measly miles is not what destroyed the lifetime mileage of this car. Here is what did. I bought the car almost 11 months ago, December 2018. I'll put 8,267 miles on it since I've owned it. 72.8 gallons, 113 miles per gallon. That is what destroyed the previous owner's hard work in making sure this car got over 300 miles to the gallon. The previous owner had not reset this tripodometer, tripodometer to be in around 58, 48,000 miles. I had about 58,000 miles when I got it, and I know, but I'd have to look at my records to know for sure. I'll tell you what, here's what I'll do. It had this many miles on the odometer when I got it. He had not reset the tripodometer since this many miles, meaning he had driven it this many miles, burned this much gas, which by my calculations came out to this MPG. Whatever you see on the screen, I know it was over 300. That's all I know. So this 113.6 in the last 8,200 miles is what's destroyed the lifetime gas miles, but no big deal. So what? All right, let's go back in time now. All right, well, there you go. If you put regular unleaded in it, 277.2 miles I got, 34.6 miles to the gallon, but I got a level two charger installed yesterday. The problem is uh, we bought a new house and the outlets are not properly grounded because it's an older house. These cars will not charge without a proper ground. I had a level two installed yesterday and I had a level two cord that Amazon dropped off a couple hours ago, but I've been away from home. So tomorrow I'm gonna plug this car up and hope and pray that it works. The outlet was put in properly. The breaker was put in properly. The guy knew what he was doing. If it don't work, uh, it won't be his fault. It'll be something to do with the way it's grounded, not grounded properly or something, but we'll see tomorrow. Tomorrow, hopefully, this thing will get a charge. 237 miles per gallon lifetime. Oh my gosh, that's irritating. Oh my dang fire, dang fire, dang fire. Oh well, I'm gonna get gas and it is freezing. I'm wearing this little thin jacket which don't help. 
Because when I left, it was warmer. 32 degrees out there. Oh, it's going to be so cold getting this gas. Oh, well, it's got to be done. Hopefully, I can go back to going 1,500, 1,800 miles between, um, between tanks, I hope. But winter coming on, probably not. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Remember, chicks dig scars on electric cars. See you later.